I'm gonna take a second and talk about brownies. The perfect brownie is chewy, sweet, and soft. Think of a couple places that I've gotten some brownies and they're just perfect. And so today I really wanna to try to recreate that. I'm not getting them out of a box or anything. I'm making everything from scratch. I got this recipe straight from Amsterdam and I wanna share it with y'all. And so stick around and let's make some brownies. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is brown two and a half sticks of butter. And I know that's a lot of butter, but I never said this was a healthy dessert. So if you've never browned butter before, get your butter browning brown stick out and get ready to stir this around while we have it on medium high heat. And we're just going to continue stirring these. Things start getting melted. You really want to keep stirring this around so nothing gets burnt at the bottom because we're really here trying to caramelize the milk solids that separate from this and you see a decent amount of evaporation and that's the, the just the water in the butter evaporating off and so we'll see this get darker and darker in color until we get to our final product you definitely don't want to leave this unattended while you're doing this or you will risk really burning the butter instead of browning it see the butter really starting to darken and you know you're getting close so we're gonna keep it moving I see the caramelized milk solids toward the bottom and that's what we're looking for see that's almost done here it's not having your the key is not to have your heat up too high or you're going to blow right past this process. It's a very small window of success with this. Alright, so once you have your browned butter ready to go, then let's get our chocolate team ready. First we need 8 ounces of chocolate chips. In a free bowl add that 8 ounces of chocolate chips and 1 quarter cup of dark cocoa powder and a little less than one tablespoon of espresso powder. Give that a little mixy mix so everything gets to know each other and then we're going to pour in our brown butter that's still really really hot so our chocolate is going to melt rather quickly and that's a good thing because we need to stir it until it gets all incorporated and homogenized. Okay, for our dry team, we're going to need to start off with two cups of granulated sugar and then one half cup of light brown sugar or dark brown sugar. Then add two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and I just add a little bit, uh, one teaspoon or so of rum just because I wanted to. Then I'm going to take the first mixer ever made, but my mom gave it to me and I love it. So, and add in six whole eggs. You'll notice here that I'm going one egg at a time and that's on purpose because I don't want to over mix the eggs and get it all incorporated evenly. So make sure you add each egg one egg at a time. After 10 minutes and your batter looks like a thick pancake batter, we're going to pour in the chocolate mixture that we made from earlier, so your chocolate team.
now sift in one cup of all-purpose flour and a half cup of cocoa powder. And gently fold everything together. We're going to fold it so we don't lose any of the air that we just put into this. Now I have a 9 by 13 pan that I'm going to put all this brownie batter into, smooth it over on the top, and put it into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. I think it goes without saying here, but I wanted to make mention that I did have my parchment paper grease, so that way whenever it comes time to removing these brownies, we don't have an issue. So make sure that you have grease parchment. Okay, after 20 minutes, we have they're not quite done yet, but we have to take them out to give them a smack. And the reason we're doing that is so that way the brownies don't raise too much and uh, they come out nice and fudgy. So then after we give them a smack or two, then we will put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. To test if they're done, we're going to stick a toothpick in, and if we don't have any batter on it on the way out, then they are done. So, to make our whipped cream, we need a half cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm putting into a KitchenAid with the whisk attachment attached. We're also going to add a tablespoon of granulated sugar, and if you're feeling a little spicy, add in a just a dash of American honey honey whiskey uh, just a splash again if you're 21 and older this applies to you if not then just keep it with the sugar we want to whip this at medium high speed until your desired consistency traditionally they are stiff peaks but if you want it a little thicker just leave it on for as long as you would like it to be Okay, so now let's try our brownie. Is it in fact better than the boxes? So I put our homemade whipped cream on top and uh, the brownie right here. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's just super moist in there. <laughs> Chocolate's really pronounced. It's what I was looking for. Not overly sweet. Um, and the, the little bit of honey whiskey that we put into the whipped cream really brings it all home. I gotta go in for another bite. Nope. Give these a try, you'll forget all about those box brownies. Okay, as you can see, I did not get that recipe from Amsterdam. It didn't have their special ingredient in it, but these did turn out wonderful nonetheless, and I can't wait if you give them a try please leave a comment and tell me how they turned out for you. And if you did anything different, let me know that as well. I really appreciate everyone stopping by and spending some time and learning about making some brownies from scratch. If you would, please leave a like on this video and subscribe so you can get more recipes. I have more coming and I have everything written out on my website at www.foodbrewbbq.weebly.com or follow me across social medias at foodbrewbbq or on Instagram. It's the only one that's different for some reason, uh, at tskidmore49. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Look forward to cooking with you next time.